since most structures are going to call for a footing for the foundation, I've taken this grid uh, structure that I created so that I could add steel members to it. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and figure out putting some footings in here. Plant 3D does offer a tool to assist us with footings, and you'll find that tool in the structure tab in the parts panel. And you'll see it right there. Now, before we choose footing, let's go to some settings and see exactly what kind of footing do we want to put in here. So I'll use this drop down on the settings and I'll go down to footing settings. And we can first take a look at the geometry here. So what do we want? Uh, one foot by one foot, two feet in depth, uh, just to change it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, make this uh, 18 inches. And we'll keep it square and make that 18 inches as well. You have some standards that you can choose from. And you also have a code that you can choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at concrete because that would make sense to me. I'll go ahead and hit OK here. And whenever I hit OK, that's going to be the default setting for the footings now. So I can go into the footing setting and I can pick an insert point. I'll place it right here, and if you take a look at it, you'll see that we do have a footing right here. And if I did want that maybe to be a little bit deeper, why don't you just select it, hit Edit Structure. Let's go down here, and let's say that I want that to be four feet instead. And as easy as that, I've got a footing going in at four feet. Now remember, we're essentially dealing with AutoCAD here, so your copy functions and things such as that still work here. So if we went ahead and selected that footing right there, and then we go ahead and say copy selection, and then we can go in here and choose a base point of where to copy it from, we can of course put in as many copies of this as we want. Now, this is a fairly predictable pattern here. So what would be even easier than doing the copy command would just be using our good old friend array. So let's go ahead and try that and we can do a rectangular array. Let me go ahead and just type in that command. And we will select our concrete block as our object. We will do a rectangular array with it. If you notice, we're going to get the different ribbon up here. So I'm seeing that we have about five columns across. So I'll go ahead and change that value to 5. Uh, if we use our measured uh, geometry tool across here, you'll see that there's 20 feet across. So I'll go ahead and put 20 feet in there. And then we can say how many rows that we have. And it looks like we have four rows here. And now the space between the four rows if you notice, they're going to start going out along the Y axis, but we need those to come back towards our origin. So we're going to have to put that value in at a negative 20 feet just so that we can get them to come in at the correct place. And let's go ahead and change that to 20 feet. I'm sorry, make that a negative 20 feet. And now if you zoom in on here, you will see that everything is placed exactly where it has to be. And that was a very easy way to get all your fittings done at one time.